What's going on everyone? Sean McHenry here from Mystic Koi and I'm back to bring you another Koi unloading unboxing video. This time it's our biggest Tosai shipment we have this year and Tosai are Koi that are less than a year old. So as you can see from this video that can uh, actually vary hugely as far as size and quality and therefore cost. And uh, while there's a few older Koi in this shipment Pretty much everything you're going to be seeing is less than a year old in Tosai. We have about 50 boxes that we unloaded. Uh, that's roughly 3,000 Tosai. Uh, came in pretty late at night, uh, as you can kind of see in this video. So we were all really eager to get these babies in some clean water, um, fresh water, and out of their toxic, toxic bags. So yeah, we're floating the bags to get the temperatures acclimated before we release them. I was blessed by the Koi Gods this year and able to score about 60 of Isa's Jumbo Tosai. Isa, if you don't know, is one of the top, maybe the top Showa breeder in the world. Um, and these Koi you can see are just absolute monsters. They're, they're just tanks. Most of them are 12 inches or larger even. And that's kind of crazy to think about how big they are when you compare them to the average little like four to six inch Tosai. These koi are born at the same time. Yeah, I'm super impressed with what he sent. So one reason koi breeders make jumbo tosai like this is to kind of expose any major conformation flaws and kind of get a better picture of important things like how big their backbone is or their head size or shape. So when a koi breeder sends you some jumbo tosai, you can almost always be sure that there's good genetic material there. Uh, the koi have the ability to grow really large However, you can't be certain that they're going to send Koi with good patterns. Uh, and that's what I'm stoked about because the patterns he sent on all these are pretty dang good. The patterns are just awesome. He does a pretty dang good job of uh, getting balance between heavy sumi, light sumi, showing off whites, and then just rad Kohaku patterns. Uh, the other awesome part about the show is that he sent is there's a really good balance of developmental stages. And well, that might be a bit more complex to talk about for this video, but uh, essentially there's Showa that look good now, there's Showa that will look good in two years from now, and then there's Showa that will look good in five years. So depending on your pond size and what your goals are for growing the Showa, um, there's something here for everyone. That's not all I brought in when it comes into high-end special to toe side. Uh, Maruhide sent some awesome Jumbo Kohaku. If you don't know, Maruhide is a great koi breeder and coincidentally kind of former right hand man of uh, Isa Koi Farm which means his Kohaku come from the Isa bloodline so you know they can grow really really large and again he sent some like really stunning stuff good patterns good body shapes and you can never have too many Showa so I brought in my favorite Showa breeder Sekikuchi uh, his Showa always really kind of are bold and embody that sort of flashiness that Showa represent. Uh, and finally, like the other high quality specialty Tosai I brought in, it wouldn't be right if I didn't have a selection of Koda's high quality Tosai. Koda, that guy is just a genius, and I can't understand how this man is able to breed so many varieties. There's like maybe 20 different varieties of Koi in here, and consistently have like really good quality examples of each of those varieties. Um, along with Koda, I brought in Koshiji, and Koshiji's a kind of a good balance to what Koda breeds. He, he picks up some of the varieties that uh, Koda doesn't, so it makes a really good mix here. And I also brought in Maruhide. So Maruhide, yeah, he has those Jumbo Kohaku Tosai, but he's also really famous for breeding Deutz varieties. Um, so if you're looking for Deutz Kohaku or Deutz Sonke or Showa, like this is, this is definitely the, the time that you want to pick some of those up. So if you're looking for that Deutz Kohaku, Sonke, or Showa, like this is the chance because they're just rad and beautiful. But yeah, shooting to have these koi ready for sale around the 18th of June. I would check back on our website or Facebook or give us a call to make sure that's the release date because of course we have to uh, make sure you know they're healthy and ready to go. Um, this is sort of 
uh, day after uh, feeding so you can kind of see how how they're doing they're looking really good and healthy which makes me happy uh, the jumbo toast I hope to have on our website soon but I have to get them healthy enough and in good enough condition that I can photograph and video them and yeah that's, uh, that's about all I have to say. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you all soon.